interesting night last night. We are still in the Badlands, as you can see. And uh, we had quite a storm come in. It's been incredibly windy. The weather says like 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. And about 20 minutes ago, I heard a big clunk. And I now realize what it was. I'm gonna stay out of the wind. I had my bike rack swung open. And uh, I had my table and some chairs kind of stacked behind it and the wind slammed it shut. Let me show you. So we put the legs down. That makes a huge difference. It makes it much more stable. But windy out here. I think I'm just I think I'm just gonna leave this for now. So we've been here for several days and the batteries are starting to die. We're down to about 30%. And we've been running the air conditioner a lot because of the heat. It's been like 90, 92. So since it's not 92 today, I'd say it's about 50, 60. Uh, I'm just gonna run the generator and recharge the batteries. So now we'll charge at about 80 amps and fill those batteries back up. Too bad. No, nope, not too terrible. But these things are a little, little off. Okay, right, we can. Yeah, look at that. Windy today. Yes. The fact that the table survived is pretty miraculous because it was all folded down. Like this whole thing was flat. Yeah, I got really squished in there. Well, yeah, I would say this just needs to get bent back. That needs to get bent. All it needs to, here, can you hold that side? Yep. Bend it the opposite way a little bit. Cool. Right as rain. Right your table. I just want to make sure that it still fits. Yeah. Little scratches. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Windy. Very windy. You want to go for a quick walk? Sure. Not really dressed for this. No. Are you? Uh, well, the upper body, yes, but my, my pants are not, not ideal. Good enough.
squat thing open. I've been hearing this weird raindrop sound for the last couple hours and I think I figured out what it is. So, it's a vinyl cover from our roof rack. No. Just a little piece of plastic, it's been blowing in the wind. We were pretty sure that it's just the rain, because it's been raining, but we were like, hmm, the rain doesn't seem to be that heavy. It always seemed to be in the same exact spot on the roof. <laughs> wow. Nice and warm in the camper. Yeah, boy, it's, it's pretty brutal out there. Yeah. When we first went out, it was not too bad, but the wind's picked up, the wind's picked up again. So it's been many hours, still windy, still cold, and I have the uh, lovely task of filling up our tanks with water. Joy. I'm just hoping that I don't spill it on myself in the process. Thank you for filling the camper with water. So you can shower? So we both can shower? I'm not gonna shower. No? It's too much work. <laughs> I'll shower and do dishes. I'll do dishes. I'll do the dishes. So normally when I cook, Scott does the dishes. So today I cooked and it's technically his turn to do the dishes, but he was also working on his video for the whole day, so I can do the dishes as well. Okay. Do you need another jug of water? Well, if we both shower, then you're gonna need another jug. No, I don't use any water. Only no. you use water. Are you the cowboy? You're just gonna dust off? <laughs> That's right, I'm a cowboy. I just dust off. It's cold out. It was, what, 92 yesterday? Yeah. That was what, like 52? If that. Ooh. I think it's supposed to be in the 40s tonight. Great. Nice, good job. No Thank skills. you, not a dog. <laughs> That's a good boy. So is 12 gallons enough for you to shower with? I would hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> hey, I don't take that much water. No, you're very good. I feel like even when you wash your hair, it doesn't take up much more. No, it doesn't. I try to be conservative with water. When you do the dishes. Well, is that why you wanted to do the dishes? Exactly. Thank you. It's cold.
Oh, I hear my wounded soldier. <laughs> Did that hurt? I pushed the door open and it closed. Just as I brought my knee into it. <laughs> oh. That's some of the joys of camping, I guess. I don't see pain, I see content. <laughs> I'll do the dishes. All right, so I, I just took a look at it and I basically have this little tiny, it's not gonna focus, but little tiny puncture in my knee from where I kicked that box. Look at that. Ow! There's a ram in front of the bus. Oh yeah, look at that. Tons of these longhorn rams. They just come walk through your campsite, walk up to people's campers, walk up to you. Pretty cool. However, whenever we're out here, they run away. I don't know why. In fact, trust the generator purring away. This little ridge right here, you can see this path, we thought it was from people hiking. It's actually a goat path. Uh, not a goat path, a ram. ram. Path. Longhorn. Sheep? Longhorn uh, ram? These are not longhorns. I don't think they're longhorns. That's what it said at the, the sign. Well, they're longhorn sheep, longhorn goats. I don't they really don't know. They don't have longhorns, though. No, they don't. So if you guys know what the proper name is, let us know, because we were told from various sources that it's a longhorn. But then when I looked it up, it doesn't look like a longhorn sheep at all. So I'll I'll put a picture up, the, the best picture that we have of them. But uh, anyway, so this path is actually their little walking path. And if you see them all over the place, in fact, right out, let's see if I can find, there's a, a bunch of trails right there. I'll zoom in. And that appears to be where they, they all walk down through here and then they go out through there. And then all over there is water. So I think that that's where they get their water from. As you can tell, it's still very windy out, but it's like 10% of what it was. And it looks like we lost a lot of campers. <laughs> bunch of people left. It was pretty brutal. Uh, it was pretty cold, windy. It's much warmer now. Yeah. I don't know, like 65. So we've been cooped up in the camper for a couple days and now we're gonna go for a quick walk around and we'll show you what it's like here. We're gonna try to go sneak up on that ram over there. So there she is. While we were walking over here, Sasha did a little reading. So it looks like that these are not the long horns, but the big horns. I didn't really know the difference, but apparently there is one, and I think these are females. Flip flops probably aren't the best idea for this grass. It's pretty spiky. This place is pretty cool. You have all these different layers. Obviously that's millions of years of sediment. We have more of our goat friends. No, no, sheep friends over there. So I think that's the area that way where we can walk. I still don't think flip-flops are the best for this. Are you recording me, recording you? Yep. Hello. Yep. So that's quite a steep cliff right here. Don't fall down that. Some of these cliff edges are mm, pretty, pretty sharp. And this one right here looks like it's crumbling. All right, guys, I think that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Which is only gonna be a couple seconds because you're gonna click one of these.
This one or this one? They're both good. Bye. Bye.